What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video So today we're doing something that you guys have been asking for for quite some time So asking you shall receive basically is a situation here where we're gonna be doing a franchise series with the San Antonio Spurs now what I mean by that I want to be a little bit different and and I want to show you guys what we're gonna do throughout this series if I keep it going if you guys enjoy it, that it, like that is definitely very important you guys have to enjoy this if I'm gonna keep it going so basically I don't want this to last like 25 episodes I don't want to take this that deep uh, I would rather have like a five to seven episode series and then I move on to a different team I feel like it'd be a little bit better because I feel like 25 episode series can get a little bit stale after a while when you're just you know using the same team after a while so basically i want you guys to be heavily involved in this as well and basically we're gonna be doing a five part san antonio spurs rebuild series or five to seven part i would say so like we're gonna take it really slow it's gonna be realistic of course and you guys are gonna have a very heavy influence on us so when i want to trade somebody i'm gonna ask you guys and you're gonna give me your trade packages below and i'm gonna try to make it happen in 2k or something like that so if you guys think this is gonna be a lot of fun make sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and uh let's talk about this even more but basically we're rebuilding the san antonio spurs to basically point blank that is basically what this is. We are rebuilding the San Antonio Spurs, and it's just going to be a little bit slower than usual. So let's talk about it some more in the actual 2K game. Decided to use the San Antonio Spurs just because I thought they were the team that kind of needed the most, well, not the most help, I would say, but just kind of need a, a sense of direction. Not to say they don't have one. It's just a little bit weird of what they're... Ah, if you guys understand what I'm saying, I'm not trying to knock the San Antonio Spurs by any means. They have a lot of young players, a lot of talent on this roster. I'm just questioning why DeMar and Aldridge aren't gone yet. I thought that would happen in the offseason. It didn't happen. Eventually, it will happen. So basically, if we are going to do episode two, let me just go ahead and say this real quick. The next episode should be the trade deadline. And we are both trading Aldridge and DeRozan if possible. So if you guys want to go ahead and leave me your realistic DeRozan, Aldridge trade packages, in the comment section i will try to use them at the trade deadline and try to acquire some players you guys might want to see me get they have to be real realistic as well and i'll probably show comments on screen and all that so like i said i want you guys to be heavily involved in this as well but looking at the roster that we have like i said DeRozan and aldridge they're here for now but i don't want to keep them for the whole epic like whole series i want to trade them at the trade deadline this season so you got dejounte they're both on one year deals as well so yeah but dejounte murray uh they paid him they also paid Derek white so that's basically our backcourt that we might be working with for a while which is not too bad i like both these players um and hopefully they can pan out uh decently for us and you got Keldon johnson who's been playing well rudy gay is another person if you guys want to see me try some uh realistic trades at the trade deadline for rudy gay i'd be down to do that as well uh patrick mills another guy i mean there's a lot of veterans we could trade in this roster you guys can leave me your trade packages in the comment section like i said but there's also a lot of young players i want to see get some minutes here so basically we are probably going to be a lottery team this year so when looking at the mock drafts and all that uh, we definitely can get our hands on a really good prospect no matter where we land in the draft. So that's basically kind of what we're going to go with. Right now, we're projected the 12th pick. We are probably not going to make the playoffs, I assume. But like I said, I also want to get you guys this feedback, your good criticism, anything you guys want to see in this series. Like I said, I don't want to make this series way too long where it just gets stale after a while. Five to seven episodes, I think, is plenty enough. And of course, by the end of it, we're trying to win a championship. But we're just kind of taking a slow approach and I'll get some actual, some more gameplay in. Like today, I think we're going to play like a fourth quarter or something with the Spurs. We might play our first regular season game and just see how things go. So, but for this first first thing i want to do is i want to set the rotation and also if there's any settings you guys want me to turn on i also i have conversations on right now i feel like that could be fun when we're like in free agency or at the trade deadline i don't know what that pops up because i know when you would make like when you try to sign someone a free agency you actually like meet with them at a table and i think it kind of brings some fun to the table i don't know you guys get what i'm saying but looking at the rotation you got uh john Murray, Derek white of course we paid these two guys i think Derek white got hurt recently let me rebuild this rotation kind of see what they want to roll with so we got DeJounte Murray, Derek White, Keldon Johnson, DeRozan, and Aldridge, which makes a lot of sense. Aldridge playing center, definitely uh, understandable because you got DeRozan playing the four. You want to start Keldon Johnson, who's been pretty good this year, so I like that. Patty Mills off the bench, been a long time. San Antonio Spur, Rudy Gay, Yaga Pertl, Trey Lyles, and then there's also some, like, I want to get Devin Vassell and Lonnie Walker some minutes, Lucas some minutes eventually. So there's some guys down here I would like to see get some minutes, so I definitely need to make some trades uh, by the season so that way we can open up those minutes for our young guys and then of course we kind of have the awkward uh greg popovich here i'm not i don't say that in a weird i don't say that in a negative way it's just the fact i just don't really see a way where greg popovich wants to rebuild you know what i mean i, I feel like the guy is uh wanting he's just too old i feel like no no knock against him but 
I don't feel like he wants to stay around for a rebuild. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do with Greg Popovich. He might just retire, honestly, but we'll see. If he doesn't, you guys will have to let me know what we should do with him. Should we fire him or resign him? Or what should we do? Should we move on? I don't know, man. That's going to be a lot. But we are playing the Sacramento Kings for our first game. So I'm going to go ahead and actually simcast this. Uh, I want to make sure my rotations are set very nicely, though, for the Sacramento Kings. Uh, Devin Vassell, I'd like to see get some more minutes in Trey Lyles, to be honest with you. So I'm going to give like Devin Vassell some minutes. Might even give more minutes than Yaka Pertle. Rudy Gay, again, I actually might give more minutes. I want to see Rudy Gay get, or uh, Devin Vassell get plenty of minutes. Patty Mills. And then I also kind of want to see, not going to lie, I want to see Lonnie Walker. And uh, also, so I'm going to give Lonnie Walker like eight minutes. And I'm going to throw, uh, yeah, we'll roll with that. So Lonnie Walker, let's get him some minutes. And is there anyone else I said? Luca eventually as well. But for now, this is fine. And we'll kind of just see how this first season goes, or first game goes. So DeRozan's going to be getting a lot of minutes. Um, let me go ahead and knock that down a little bit. I want to see some of my young guys getting some minutes. We got a lot of minutes uh, to give around. So I'm going to give Murray like 31. I'm going to give Derek White like 28, 30, 27. Uh, Aldridge probably needs a little bit more minutes than that, actually. So let me throw this out of here. And then let's throw Aldridge like 29. We'll give Kelvin Johnson 29. And we'll give uh, Derek White 29. So let's sim cast our first game and kind of see how things go. So obviously they want to give more minutes, but I'm not really worried about that. So let's go ahead. First home regular season game, and I am going to be jumping. Oh my gosh, we're getting blown out. That is not good. 85 to 70. So uh, do we make a little bit of a comeback here, or are we just going to? Okay, actually, we are kind of making things interesting. 82. Okay, so we are we are definitely storming back. I love that. So with six, five minutes left, I might jump in with like four minutes left or something like that. So yeah, let's jump in now. 98 to 85. Let's get some gameplay. So we're down 13 points. That's fine. Like I said, this was going to be kind of a series. I kind of wanted to see what we're going to do. So for DeJounte Murray, I kind of want to just try to make a comeback here. So with four minutes left, I'm going to throw a pick and roll. They leave Derek White wide open, and that is a green light every time. So that, just like that, we knocked the score down 98 to 88. So very good start uh, to me jumping in. And now we got to guard De'Aaron Fox. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know if this is something you guys would like to you like i said give me some criticism give me whatever you want to see in this series and if you guys want to see me keep it going of course leave a like as we play good defense on Darren fox and so now we're kind of running the transition Derek white might be open again for another three and oh my gosh the crowd would have went wild if i'm oh wait that was was that Derek white that might have been somebody else actually uh that was not Derek white i think that oh that was Devin vassell my bad i thought it was Derek white but uh they go ahead and get a transition layup that's a little unfortunate so Wow, we definitely needed that three, but Vassell was unable to knock it down. So let me go back to the pick and roll game with LaMarcus Aldridge or pick and pop, but we're going with Vassell this time. Uh, I'm going to shoot this mid-range with Murray, and we're going to green light it to kind of leave it open for us. So 90 to 100. We're still down by 10, so we definitely still aren't in the clear yet. We got to knock this down to a single-digit game, and then just like that, obviously basketball becomes a lot more interesting when it's the fourth quarter crunch time. That's, that's the best part about basketball. It's crunch time. And you're trying to, it, there, there's a lot to love about crunch time basketball. Oh, I thought I left Parker wide open. We're playing good defense thus far. Halliburton on the top of the key. He's going to shoot, and that is a bad shot, and he misses it. There we go. We get the defensive rebound. We're running. We're running the floor again. Vassell might have been open, but they go ahead. We're going to just reset here. Let's reset. I'm going to go back to the only thing I know, my bread and butter, the pick and roll game. Um, Aldridge is going to be wide open in the paint, but he botches the layup, man. Ah, okay. That's unfortunate. All right. We get to steal with DeJounte Murray. That's what I like to see. Um, I'm going to throw it to Aldridge. And then, come on. Aldridge, I need you to make this layup, bro. All right. I'm passing out. Patty Mills wide open on the three. And just like that, we knock it down. 93 to 100 is a seven-point game now, man. So, very nice steal from DeJounte Murray. So, now we got to play good defense. We're down seven. We can still make this triumphant comeback. The Sacramento Kings want to call a timeout. They're feeling the pressure right now. I don't blame you. My San Antonio Spurs are fighting back. So, you love to see it, man. You love to see it. So, also, should I turn on, like, the 2K audio? Or do you guys just like the music in the background? I'm not really sure how I want to go about that. I'm not sure uh, if watching 2K is fun with the... The noise in the background or what so you guys will have to let me know for sure on that so buddy healed is uh 24 points tonight very nice for him man. but i don't care we're trying to get a comeback here so 93 to 100 at one point we were down big man so the fact that we're in it on this fourth quarter is a really good sign buddy heels trying to make something happen Derek white with the huge block oh my goodness Kelvin johnson on the perimeter another three let's go baby 96 
to 100, man. We are raining out here. Raining threes, bro. You love to see it, man. I love this fourth quarter lineup, honestly, right now. They need another timeout. The Kings are feeling the pressure. Oh, my goodness, man. What a start. What a start to the series so far. I'm out and trying to get something going in the corner here to Rashawn Holmes. I'm not really sure what that play was about, but Darren Fox is going to shoot a mid-range. I thought he could have took it all the way, but he stopped and popped, and that worked out for us. So I'm going to run it up with Devin Vassell. I'm going to pass it back to Patty Mills. So we're going to reset here. So I really love what we've done tonight. So let's go back to the screen and roll. That's just something I I'm very comfortable with as we get an illegal screen, man. That's a little unfortunate. It's okay, though. We got to get a big stop, man. Big stop. We are definitely playing some good defense right now, and I'm totally okay with that. It sucks that we gave the ball away there. A turnover is not something you want with two minutes left in the game, but it is what it is. 96 to 100. We can definitely still Marvin Bagley on the screen. Uh, Darren Fox. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. I thought we were about to get a steal. Darren Fox. Nice spin, but we get it. Aldridge is nowhere to be found in the paint, man. He is just nowhere to be found. 102 to 96 they get the offensive board lay it back up that is very very crappy so 96 to 102 i know you guys can't see the score i'm trying to make sure you guys uh, are very aware what the score is every second i can so we're still down six unfortunately we had we had the big stop they just got the offensive board so i'm gonna go back hopefully we don't get an illegal screen this time that was very unfortunate um i'm gonna no no that was a bad shot i tried to pump fake and i shot it instead Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. We, we still got plenty of time. Just need to stop here. And then we can shoot a oh, Harrison Barnes. Very, very clutch layup. 104 to 96. We are definitely making things happen. And now we might have just, uh, we might, we honestly might have just uh, let this one slip. I'm going to go to Derek White for three. And that was slightly covered and he misses it, man. In and out. So we were definitely making something happen in the fourth quarter. But unfortunately, we kind of folded. Uh, the offensive board by Harrison Barnes, I believe it was, was huge for them. Buddy healed on the perimeter. I'm still going to finish this out. Harrison Barnes on the corner. That might be a dagger shot, but he misses it. So we still can run the floor really quick if we can make something happen here. Unfortunately, they close out on it. I'm just going to shoot a three, uh, and we miss it, man. So that might have been our last digit push, but unfortunately, it did not go in. So we are going to lose this game 104 to 96 unfortunately but we did fight a lot I, I definitely love what we did we fought a lot and Barnes trying to shoot the dagger but with 33 seconds left 104 to 96 I definitely can't make a comeback anymore so we'll just try to make something happen at the very least I'm gonna throw um Devin Vassell in the corner again and he is not gonna make it Aldridge with the offensive board and he lays it back up so this game is probably gonna finish like 104 to 98 we could foul here um which we probably will oh we almost got wait what is going on can you just can you just uh pass it in like what is going on okay uh they got to call time out here right let's go oh my goodness i thought i was gonna steal all right well 18 seconds left i guess i'll intentionally foul but we're probably gonna lose this game so a little unfortunate we fought but we are ultimately going to lose this game so we ultimately lost 100 to 105 like i said i'm really happy with how we fought but unfortunately we just couldn't get the w so Dejounte Murray with 19, Aldridge with 19 and 10, Rudy Gay with 15 and 5. Kellen Johnson almost had a triple double on opening night. You love to see that. DeRozan 10, 4 and 2. So yeah, very nice. But now I, I kind of want to go ahead and just run my 10 man rotation and just kind of see what they want to do. So I'm just going to roll with what they want. Vassell getting those last few minutes. That's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simulate all the way to the trade deadline because that is where we're going to make our next few moves. So simulating to the trade deadline. We're going to get there, and like I said, we are going to, next episode, we are going to be trading Aldridge and DeRozan most likely. Only if you guys enjoy this. You guys got to make sure you leave a like and let me know if you guys want to see this more. That's definitely what it ultimately boils down to, as we are a very, very bad team, which I, I, I'm i not surprised. I thought we were going to be bad, but let's just see how we finish uh, by the trade deadline. But we have made it to the trade deadline, and we are 15 and 38. I think it's safe to say that we are definitely a team that is selling right now and we are going to change that to selling man we need to sell this team we need to sell some pieces on this team i like a lot of foundational pieces that we have but ultimately aldridge derozan they gotta go man and you look at the stats so far uh by the trade deadline we had 22 from derozan and 15 from aldridge so definitely nice and all patty mills with 14 as well rudy gay with 13 so like i said i want to give these young guys more opportunities so that's kind of the goal so by the next episode we're going to call it the trade deadline. We are trading pieces. That's what we're doing. So if you guys want to leave me your trade packages for guys like DeRozan, Aldridge, Rudy Gay, Patty Mills, anybody veteran-like on this team, I believe I named all the veterans, though. So we are trading the veterans at the trade deadline. So 
uh realistic packages maybe we won't trade all of them but we will try to trade the rosen and aldridge for sure so realistic packages let me know man uh other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the first part of the san antonio spurs rebuild franchise this was obviously trying to set things up and try to just let you guys know what to expect from this series so if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like but for now this is crushables trade deadline next and i'm saying peace